Two fingers. <laughs> oh, oh, two fingers. <laughs> Today's video is comprising of the airbox comprising? mod. Comprising? Is that a word? Mm. Yeah, comprised of. Comprising of. It's comprised of, meaning it involves. Never heard of that. I think. I don't know. Which, all right, I'll change it then, just for you, because you're a sp special. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video, we are doing. Is that better? That's better, mate. The Airbox mod on the S2000. Ooh. Super simple. Costs nothing at all. Yeah. And it's supposed to give you a little bit more noise on the induction. Yeah, it's not really any in performance improvement. I don't think it's so. just sound well, wise. Um, I keep forgetting the name of the bloody channel. L. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. If you know oh. how more excited he gets when it's an S2000 video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets a little sick of what you say. He's a spring in his step. He loves LHT it. performance. What? Oh, you're fucking saying. LHT performance. I follow them on YouTube. If you don't and you like SDKs, I'm sure you do, but do because they're incredible. And that's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> you said something horrible then, didn't you? No, I didn't. Stick up for me, peeps, in the I comments. Did, I did, I did, it. Asshole. <laughs> we haven't, we haven't <coughs> spawned yet either. Amazing. No, we just did, asshole. Uh, asshole's alright. Um, is that PG? Throw, yeah, LHP, <coughs> I think it was. Performance on YouTube, and they did this, and it's super cheap, and I wanted to do it too to see if it does make a bit of a difference with the noise. So, have a look, see, Pete. I'll show you. If you take the fucking lid off, <coughs> or take the lid off, which is easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that just pulls off like so. Go on, so, look at that. Give me the lid, I need the lid. What? Need the lid. So at the minute, obviously, if you're looking here, the air comes through there, goes through here, into here, over that lip, and then into there. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that bit out there to improve the flow. We're going to take this whole box out. We're going to take this bin out here, cut that out. I don't know if you can see in there. Oh, good grab work like Chris here. Oh yeah. There we go. And you can see down there, see that little hole? So basically that hole goes into this chamber here. So the air goes through that bit under there, through here, cups over there, and then you get sucked up into the engine, lovely, lovely cold air. But the only reason why that is there, and why that is there, is to reduce the noise. Because when they're made in the factories or whatever, uh -huh. they they have to comply to whatever fucking laws of noise and stuff like that. And that, I think that is just like a resonator. So the idea is you cut that out, you use a bit of that to plug that hole up, take the bit out the top of the lid, so there'll be nothing there, and the air literally just flows straight into there. And then that silence a bit is blanked off, so it makes it a little bit louder. Yeah, That's cool. the plan. So it's Sounds pretty straightforward. No right? parts involved, it's cheap. You use the bits that you cut out to blank off the hole. You will probably just use a bit of tagger seal or something. And it should be that simple. So DIY induction, basically, mate. Yeah. So we'll. I was going to change the filter, but it looks fucking brand new, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at the size of it, though, mate. Uh, yeah, it's nice to put a comb filter in there as well. Yeah. A bit more performance. Yeah, because so. to be honest with you, when it's in this big box, I was expecting to open it and just see like a flat panel filter. Yeah. Like no. Like what's in mine? That's it's what I thought as well. Filter. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah. We're going to get that out. You could do it in there, to be fair, but I don't want to get all the crap from cutting this out yeah, yeah, all yeah. in the engine bay and stuff and potentially in the induction what it's going to uh, take, take pipe and all that so so yeah just bolt there isn't it? bolt there I don't know mate there's bolt one there. one this side I think just a couple of bolts mate you have to take yeah, that yeah there's one down there look the one there and that one off of there so it's one two three I think that's about it and there's one in, right in the middle behind here look there we thrashed this car today coming mm. over here still feels warm yeah I've just had it running don't I mm. 
got battery issues with it at the minute. It keeps going dead on me. So I don't know whether it's the alternator or I don't know whether it, or if it's the battery. But it's weird when the car's locked, it seems to be okay because it started this morning and I, f and I left it overnight. But then I went to Dip Demons this morning to speak to them about some bits and then I literally got out of the car, turned it off, walked around for half an hour, had a chat, got back in, went to start it and it was dead again and that was within 25 minutes. So it's weird. Mm. So anyway, that's just another issue. We might be doing an alternator change <laughs> soon. <laughs> but I'm going <coughs> to do a battery, there, do a battery <coughs> test here. Yeah, do a battery test first, obviously. Make sure that... Uh, yeah, hopefully it's if, not if it's yeah. if the old one is doing its job and you just do a voltage test on it turn on your heaters and your lights on and stuff then if it is happy days we'll just change the battery but even the battery is like 100 quid is it it's fucking crazy me so it's a small battery as well isn't yeah it? it's, it's tiny quite a small little battery right let's get this out of the car cool and get chopping some plastic up yeah yeah super it's gonna be 10 mil isn't it it's always She's out, but there's she's fucking out. There's a good chance now part. while that's out as well to check all your fucking cross members and all that. There's a bit of surface on there, look, but everything you know, seems look pretty fucking solid to be fair. It's crazy. Yeah, mate. Nuts in it. This, I think, is gone. So it's rattling a big time. They all need changing, do they? Really? Yeah. Oh, will it there, is it? Possibly. No, I don't think so. Right. She's out. Look at all that space, you can actually get in there. Yeah, you do all your belts and everything for that. Yeah. So, here she is, out. So, what I was talking about was, so these don't stop fleshy flashing. This bit here, basically, we remove, you cut all this out somehow. Well, I don't know, use a Dremel or something. And then you use a bit of that to stick over there, that hole, to blank that whole section off there. And then and this bit is like plastic riveted on. So I believe we can literally just snap that off. Do you want it? So, uh, yeah, I don't want to go way through them. Honestly, they usually just go like that and it comes off oh, right. on the videos I've watched. So yeah, we'll cut that out, come back to you, stick that in there, cut that off, and then it should be that easy, mate. Ooh, lovely, lovely. There's one. How much have you got to take out of this? Let me go up. All of it. That whole piece? Yeah. Yeah, as clean as we can do it, obviously. It doesn't have to be super clean. But yeah, ideally, as close down to there as we can get. Because the more gap we've got there, the better the airflow. Oh God. Look at this, look. Down there? Yeah, all of it. We'll be cutting it all the way down here. Oh, all that? Yeah, the whole lot. Oh, the whole thing? Well, yeah. I've got it down there. Yeah, that was easy. Just pull it and they snap off. So we won't be needing that no more. No matter what they tell us, no matter what they say. Oh my god, filming. Oh yeah. Voice of an angel. Really? Oh. Safety first. Look at them bad boys. They're really about to go fucking snowboarding. Yeah, dude. Ooh, red. <laughs> Pretty fucking straightforward to be honest. Oh, again. That's all cut out. 
So now we need to block that there hole with one of the bits of plastic that came out. So I've kind of drawn a rough template of what it's going to look like. And then once cut, that should slot down in that little gap there. Seal it in. And that's blocked off that resonator bit there. <gasps> so we're going to try and Dremel cut this one, I think. I don't think. Because it's a bit of an awkward shape. It needs to be a bit precise and I like it done neat. Even though I'm never going to see it. It's nice to do it neat, so let's, let's have a go at that then. <laughs> That's what we cut, look. Just cut them little tabs at the bottom because they've got a slot in there, look. It sits on there like a little booty there. And then we stick him in there and that's just blanking off this section here that cuts off all your great VTEC noise. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to stick it with, Benj? Bit of this shit, I reckon. Bit of the old... <laughs> Bit of this... Trough. Trough. In the trough. Give this a little rub down. Oh. Right then, Bench, where are we at, Sam? Uh, we're pretty much done, mate. Well, we are done. Look, oh, I've God. stuck that in with a bit of fucking. It was not tiger seal, but it's 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 strong it's body panel adhesive. Yeah. But I need a bit of fucking silicone would do, mate. Nice. Stuck that in there. Nice obviously. and neat. Look at this. Look, nice and neat. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, proper fabricators here, you. Know, you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So with up. all that out. <laughs> Before, obviously, let's put that on and have a little look. Before it'd go, air would obviously get sucked in. It'd go through this fucking stupid thing that was above there, which is no longer there. There was a bit there, so the air would go up over the little slit, down, travel through this resonator, back round, and into your airbox, which obviously quietens down the suction noise. Whereas removing all of that, the air goes straight through there, straight into your fucking comb filter, and nothing can go in there. So. Should yeah. just give you a little bit more. So you're noise. bypassing the resonator, basically. Yes, basically, and, and making and improving the airflow. And because you're improving the airflow, it makes it a little bit louder. So that's the idea, anyway. It's not going to be like a huge difference. It's not going to be like it would be if we'd left. If we leave this off, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Then you'd really hear it. But uh, yeah, it will just make it a little bit, a little bit more noticeable, noticeable, which it needs, I think. Especially without an exhaust on it, it needs it. Yeah. If you've got a big fat exhaust on it. It doesn't really matter. Cause like my Civic, you can't hear. You can't hear anything else on the car at all apart from the exhaust. I took the induction kit off and sold it and put it towards something else because I couldn't even hear it. So yeah, we're going to let that go off cool. for a little bit longer, I think, and then we'll whack it back in, start her up and see what it sounds like. Unfortunately, we forgot to get a before and after. <laughs> so we we've did. only got an we after. Did. But um, I'll be able to give my opinions anyway. So yeah, let that go off a bit. We'll get back in and we'll show you. But... <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. Right, it will back in. We didn't film that obviously because it's just a reverse process. It was how many bolts was it? One, Three. two, and there's one cheeky little one there. That was very hard to undo. But and that's it. But like I said I don't think that has ever been off, mate. Right? No, and you have to take this off. I don't really know what that is. Have to take that off and yeah just make sure all your hoses are clipped back into these to keep it away from all your belts which they are and yeah you're golden that's it so all that smoothed out the little thing is in there it come out really. nope that kind of pushes up against it look as well so it holds it in place and there we go sorted clippy back on Whether it starts or not is another thing. <laughs> this is the fucking whatever's wrong with it, the battery. So, right, let's take the bloody light off. But yeah, like I said, it is a bit bit rattly at the minute. And I think it's this pulley bearing or pulley there. <coughs> pulley wheel, I'll say. 
that I think needs changing, so excuse the noise. Right, here's my fucking keys. And that'll warm up a bit, and then we'll give her uh, some juice. Yeah! <laughs> ben, is this, uh, is this your S2? Yes, this is. <laughs> Right, right then, Ben. What time is it? It's revving time, motherfucker. I swore again. Swore again. I can't help it. I oh, fuck him. <laughs> right. He likes to get her up. He likes to get her up to temp, as you should always do before you rev your car. Three miles on the temperature gauge, so get nice and cush. That it. It'll be different when you're driving it because you obviously can't hit fucking VTEC. Yeah. When it's stationary, when you're driving it, when you get, I think it's five and a half, is it in these, or six? I think it might be six VTEC in these. Who knows, mate? <laughs> never got to six. <laughs> yeah. so, well, maybe we'll take a little drive, see if we can hear a difference, shall we? Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it's not massively noticeable, but enough. And I want to hear the VTEC crossover, so maybe we'll, we'll go out now and have a little drive and see if we can. Oh, I've been in it for a while, that'd be nice. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that now. We'll do, we'll that. do that now. So there we go then. It's quite. With the, well, I don't know if we're going to hear much of a difference or not, to be honest, but we shall see. But VTEC, the crossover in it at the minute, or it was, was really quiet. It was actually quite hard. You could feel it, but you couldn't really hear it. So I'm hoping we might get a, a little bit more noise. We shall see. I'm just gonna pass all these fucking cyclists and shit. Oh, God, look at this lad. Look at this crew lad. Look at just families out in force. Right. So we hear any noise? It's about six six grand, I think, to be tech. Is it? Like it, I don't know. It just feels a bit. 
definitely hear it sucking slightly louder. Yeah. Without a doubt. It just feels like... A bit more responsive. A little bit more get up and go. Yeah. I don't know. But in the day, if it's getting... Uh, if your car's getting more air into it, it's going to be... Look at that beast. Oh my God. But the emissions might be out on that one, my butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at the fucking size of it. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, he's going in there. Look at the size of that bastard. There we go. And there God, we go. I love driving that car so much. Your stickers are fucked. Look. Yeah, I Swore again. Um, <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Right, super okay. simple. Costs you nothing, and you get a slight better sound a slight little from the induction. It's not loads because obviously it's an enclosed uh, air filter, but it definitely makes a difference. And I swear, I don't know why, like I said, whether it's the placebo effect or not. But uh, it, it seemed the throttle response seemed a little bit better. Yeah, you said reason. that. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, she fucking pulls, does she? Oh, fuck me, yeah. Love it. I get a bit oh, more I confident saw. as well. And it's bit, it had just started spitting with rain as well, so it was a little bit slippery. Mm. So, yeah, amazing. He gets this massive grin on his face hey. when he's behind the wheel. He just You get that from this still. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It is, and I don't it's drive nice it. You drive this almost every day, don't you? Yeah. And I don't. I drive that maybe... Once, well, I won't be driven at all really in the winter, but in the minute, I'm only driving it from home to here. Yeah. Once every couple of weeks. So. It's a lovely feeling when you get in your car and it makes you feel like that. But that's what it motoring is. is all about. It is. That's why we love it and why we love doing stuff to it. So, yeah, there we go. Another video in the bag. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everyone for watching. Stick us a comment in the below if you've got an S2000 and you've done it and tell us what you think. We love to hear from you. We do. We love all your comments, guys. And if you're not subscribed, just, just please do. Just do, and, uh, just do it. Just do it. Like now. By the time this goes out, we've got to be over 2,000 on a budget. So nice. if we are, awesome. Thank you. If we're not, then what's going on? It's war again. <laughs> It's hard. So, yeah, it's it hard. is. Thank you to Danny at Dino Dick Sports <coughs> Parts and Tactical Racing for sponsoring the channel. You legends. Yes, thank and you very much, guys. Your codes at the end of the video in the outro for your money off your toxic knobs and your carbon my ride bits. I still need to get some more carbon my ride bits for my uh, Civic because I wanted to do the rest of the inside. Remember, I wanted to do yeah, all you the did, door yeah. bits and that. But, oh. Mine would probably be more under the bonnet, I think. Yes, definitely for me. It was looking good, mate. It was slam, looking sick. Slam panel and shit like that. Sweet as fuck. So there, there we go. Thank you all for watching. We love you all. And we shall see you on, on the, the next, next video. video. Peace, out. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Trib.